well, we were all asked, if you remember, at a certain period of uh, television history, to, as much as possible, to try and curtail the amount of violence that we were inflicting on that young audience. And any show which attracted a family audience, and, and ours was always a family-oriented show, but everybody else and his uncle watched it, don't misunderstand me, it was not just the families. Nobody in Hollywood watched it, it was interesting. They never watched it. But back in the rest of the country, it was absolutely numero uno. You know. People watching. don't watch a great deal of television here. They watch sitcoms, but they don't really watch. They don't watch the menu that is up there. They really don't. And they thought it was just a kind of a rather low-key um, kind of, I don't know. They just weren't terribly interested in it. It really wasn't. It, uh, it, it uh, was no competition for the kind of hotshot uh, sitcoms that were available. And uh, the Sunday night, um, people were running movies. Or, um, and the, the general population watched, but uh, a lot of them, but a lot of them didn't. You know. and then I think we, we, found our, we found our audience, and they were loyal to the end. And uh, there was no question that uh, Murder, She Wrote was absolutely tops for a number of years and really was responsible for keeping CBS going along with 60 Minutes during those very lean years in the 1980s mm. when uh, they had very little else. Mm. Actually, the demographics that were quoted and uh, shown on various charts were generally wrong, we discovered. And David Poltrack, who was the uh, pollster for CBS, always said that uh, Madison Avenue totally misunderstood who watched Murder, She Wrote. And they assumed it was people over 50. But it wasn't. It was people from eight years on up. Well, it, 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 was, a, it was a puzzler. It was like doing a crossword puzzle. And uh, it was simple. But what I tried to do when I took over the um, uh, producership in 1993, I guess, I tried to sort of bring it a little more into the present day. I tried to kind of put a little bit more stuff into it without making it violent. I made it a little more sophisticated. I made it, took, took, took Jessica around the world, took her to other countries. Didn't really go, we did all universal. But um, took her to Ireland. And we, we garnered, really we enlarged our audience tremendously that way. And we did terribly well, you know, right up till the end. I mean, we never just sort of fizzled out. Mm. We were right up there always with our audience. And they loved it, and they were loyal, and they, um, they were interested and stuck with it.